Hello everybody, uh, this is Anthony Wilcox with Wilderness Company. Uh, we are transitioning off some coyote work to coons, possums, and small varmints, getting populations in control on places that are overpopulated. A lot of you have asked me about having trouble baiting and cages and stuff and not catching things around your home. Uh, this video is to help you out today, give you an idea of what we do. So let's get started with it. As you see, this morning we've caught Mr. Possum. He's just in a cage. He's eight. He's a little nervous, but that's our boy that we was targeting. So there he is. Turn around and smile for the camera, Mr. Possum. <laughs> so we'll set him to the side and we'll get after it. The cage trap. You want at least a 12 by 12 opening. Mine are 30 inches long. Uh, these are a professional series trap. We'll get to the bait. Guys, I use ear corn for eye peel. Uh, here's my bait can. And we go through a lot of wire. And here's where a lot of people make mistakes. You see how I've got a hook on this can. Punch a little hole through the can, put a little hanger on it. Same way with the ear corn. You see I've run a piece of wire completely through my ear corn. Put a little hook on it. Okay. Now here's where we go. Can of cat food. I'm trying to do this one hand. As you all know, I run by myself. Hang on a minute, guys. Tell you everything we're doing. Uh, with my can, I put about a half a can per trap. So one can of cat food should bake two traps easily, without a problem. As you see, there's there's my bait and my holder. Now, this stuff you can buy at the store. Uh, you don't have to pay expensive baits. This is what I use. Uh, if you're doing it around your home, the can will do it sufficiently by yourself. I'm just showing you how I do things. Uh, strawberry milk flavoring, that's all it is. This gives it a fishy, meaty smell. This gives it a sweet smell. If you're in a neighborhood, guys, and you wanna avoid cats, you can use uh, peanut butter instead of cat food, which will help tremendously to avoid any cats. We are not worried about cats right now. Uh, we're on a horse farm. If we catch them, we just release them. Okay. I gave that a good stir. See that? Mm-mm, good. Don't that look good? So now, for the cage. What we'll do, we'll get the door open. As you see, I'll hang my can in the back, I'll hang my ear corn in the back. Alright guys, you see how it's hanging? It is towards the back of the trap, beyond the pan. See how that is? Another thing, if a trap is wobbly when it's sitting on the ground, uh, you're Animals don't like that. You want a firm trap. So we'll go to the set location and I'll show you how to be. Look at there. See that? Ain't that pretty? Already a lot of bait there. This will catch many more animals before I'm done in the same set. Okay. My trap is set. See, it's good and firm. But I'm going to make it even firmer. I use stakes, three bar stakes, just like you would on a leg hole trap. I place that center ways through the wires. And guys at home, you don't have to have the stakes. You can use block, anything to put up against the sides of the trap or wood lay on top of the trap. You just don't see how it wobbles. 
old coon will grab this trap and he'll shake it and that door will fire and that's where a lot of people get misfires so now see no wobble i stake her down she's good and firm guys i use a sweet feed uh it's molasses corn and oats is all it is well, I work on the horse industry. This is what they're used to eating. So, this is what I call my trace bait. You see, I get about a quarter of a scoop. That's about a quart. This is a two quart scoop. So, about half a scoop. I raise my door up like that. Now, I take this sweet feed, as you see. All the way to the back. I position my door and I'm done for another animal. But now look at that. There's a lot of bait, and there'll be people complaining. You don't need that much. I'm catching 20, 30 animals a day. This works for me. This is maybe 80 cents a trap. It makes me money. Let's show you the inside. See how pretty that is? If you was an old coon, possum, skunk, groundhog, wouldn't you want to go in there and grab all that food? Looks like a turned over trash can. And that's what we want. So, make sure your site's clean, pick up all your stuff, always your tools. We'll go back, load up the machine, move on to another trap. Say bye to Mr. Possum, the notorious tick eater. Probably covered in ticks himself. He don't eat as many as they say they do. But anyway, he does carry EPM, leptoplasmosis. We've never found rabies in them, but there's a lot of diseases these little animals carry. And we don't need them around the humans. We don't need them around the horses or your home. So have a great day. Be blessed. I hope this has been informative to you. Like and share our page. Go to uh, YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And the videos will keep coming. You all having an awesome, awesome weekend.